For as long as I can remember, every Thanksgiving we would spend Thanksgiving at my grandmother's house. The tradition is that everyone is required to bring a dish. My siblings and I were in charge of making the dessert. However, unlike the stereotypical treats that are usually eaten on this holiday, we did something different. We put our own spin on Thanksgiving by making a dessert that was taught to us by our grandmother when we were only six years old. Today, I'll be showing you how to make these homemade pumpkin muffins, which was taught to me by my grandmother, which is 22 items and 12 easy steps. I'm credible to do so because I have made these muffins for the past 10 years. You should listen to me today to make you both smarter and happier, as we'll teach you how to make a delicious fall time dessert. Now that you know what I'm going to demonstrate, to do so, I'm going to first talk about the 22 items required. Then I will talk about the 12 steps it takes to make these pumpkin muffins. Since I've just told you that I'm going to show you how to make pumpkin muffins, let's get started with the items required. The first thing you will need is an oven, which I have right behind me. Next, you'll need mixing bowls, a whisk, a rubber spatula, an ice cream scooper if you have one, and a spoon. You will also need a cupcake tin, cupcake liners, measuring cups, cooking spray, one to three tablespoons of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, one and three fourths cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of pumpkin spice, a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a can of 15 ounces of canned pumpkin, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. I have just listed the items you will need to make pumpkin muffins, so it's next to assess the steps. The first step needed in making these muffins is to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Due to time constraints, I have already done that as my oven's already preheated. So we can move on to the next step, which is adding cupcake liners to our cupcake pan. So we're gonna take this pan and add cupcake liners into all 12 spots. This recipe usually makes six to 12 muffins, depending on the tin that you use. In this case, I'm going to make 12 smaller muffins instead of six jumbo ones. So I'm going to put liners into every spot on this pan, just like so. And even though these are cupcake liners, they work just as well with muffins. So after that, we need to measure our ingredients. And once again, to save time, I've already done that. So we can move on to our next step, which is whisking our dry ingredients together in a bowl. So we're gonna take this bowl and we're gonna add a cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, a one and three fourths cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, an eighth teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of pumpkin spice, and a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. And like the step says, we're gonna whisk it together now. So right now I'm whisking all the dry ingredients together. There's no specific way to do so. Just make sure everything's combined. And we don't have to whisk it too much because we're gonna whisk this again after the next step. So just a really, really quick mix, just like that. So now what we're gonna do is add our wet ingredients into this bowl. So we're gonna add our two eggs, our teaspoon of vanilla extract, our half a cup of vegetable oil, and our 15 ounces of canned pumpkin. And we're just gonna use a rubber spatula just to get the pumpkin out. And we wanna get as much as possible out because these are pumpkin muffins and you want as much as pumpkin possible. So just like that. And then once again, we are gonna mix this all together. So now we're mixing both the wet and dry ingredients together. I just wanna mix it just like this, just in a rapid motion until it basically looks like orange cookie dough. And to save some time, I have actually already have this pre-mixed to show you what it should look like. So after you mix it, it should look something like this. It's almost like orange cookie dough. You don't wanna mix it too much just so that everything's combined. And then after we do this, we want to spray our cupcake liners. So we're gonna take our pan and we're gonna quickly spray our liners. And we do this so that the muffins don't stick to the wrapper when they're done. So just a really quick spray like that. And now we're actually gonna scoop the batter into the liners. So what we're gonna do is take this ice cream scoop 
as it's the easiest way to scoop our batter and just take some out like that and plop it in just like so. You want it filled about halfway. And if you don't have a ice cream scoop, a spoon works just as well, so just like that. And then once again, to save time, I have already done this to show you what it should look like after you put all the batter in. So after you put all the batter in, hopefully it looks something like that. They're just filled up halfway. And then before putting it in the oven, we just wanna really quickly mix some cinnamon sugar together in another bowl. So we're gonna take a teaspoon of cinnamon and three tablespoons of sugar, and then quickly mix it together with a spoon. It doesn't have to be mixed very well. Just a really quick mix. So it looks something like that, just a mix of white and brown. And then what we're gonna do is take this and sprinkle it over the batter like so. So just a really quick sprinkle and we're doing this to give the muffins more flavor. And now we're gonna let it bake for 30 minutes. So we're gonna put it in the oven. And unfortunately, we do not have 30 minutes. So I went ahead and made some beforehand to show you what they'll look like. So once you take them out of the oven, hopefully they will look something like this. So the last step is to let it cool, but luckily I made these beforehand, so they should already be cool. So they should look something like this. Now that I've shown the steps involved in making these pumpkin muffins, let's wrap up the demonstration. Today I've showed you how to make pumpkin muffins by first going over the 22 items involved and then talking about the 12 steps that it takes to make these muffins. These muffins are a unique fall time treat and are the only thing that, every, that everyone in my family actually looks forward to this Thanksgiving season. They are so unique because they are different than the average pumpkin pie or pumpkin spice latte. I mean, take it from me, who is probably one of the pickiest eaters you'll ever meet. Not only do these muffins embrace the fall season, but they add some spice to your average common Thanksgiving treats.